Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Relusion. Welcome back to another debunking video. Um, I was uh, informed about other debunking channels, like uh, uh, Be Beardo Gets Scared and uh, whatnot. Uh, I checked them out, and I, I, I really do like them. Uh, there was a comment that said... Uh, You've got competition. I don't see it as competition. I more of see it as like co-workers. Because uh, the competition would um, imply that they're either watching like Beardo or me. Uh, you can watch both. And if you don't watch me, that's fine. Uh, although I do suggest... Taking a look at Beardo. Beardo is really good. Um, I've actually subscribed to him. But. Also. Uh, the Our formulas are different. I kind of like sticking with like the. Uh, looking at 10 different evidences. Like videos or uh, photos. And breaking them down. So. This is. 10 paranormal debunked um I do have two other uh, videos uh plan I'm going to be doing those for the uh, monster bash this year so subscribe if you'd like to uh, see that if you enjoy these kind of uh videos so on to the evidence. Okay, so before I get into any of the other uh, uh, videos, uh, I want to address a comment that was uh, shown to me on my uh, possible, or no, actually, it's like it was the actual uh, compelling evidence. Um. It would appear that Dark Ghost Paranormal is actually faked. How can I back this up? The uh, beginning screen actually tells you that everything is fictional. Here's the Google Translate lens of this entire screen. So, uh, yeah. the I, I wish I uh, went and looked at the uh, actual content. But, really well do, uh, done, uh... Dark Ghost Paranormal. Very well done. One. A little bit of a uh, trigger warning here. This has to deal with the 9-11 Twin Tower attack. Um, I know there's some stuff behind it. This is not what I'm discussing. What I'm discussing is this uh, picture of a supposed ghost at the Twin Tower during the attack. What bugs me about this is that so many people had jumped right into like being like, oh, there's a uh, paranormal thing here. Uh, there's like a clip of something flying away from the towers and people are like oh it's the mothman no nothing of that nature is going on and this picture here doesn't depict a ghost it depicts the final moments of this person I don't know why people are uh, claiming that it's a ghost it does not look like a ghost at all it looks like a person Standing in the wreckage, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure this person has passed away, but with all respect, I do wish all the uh, families that's involved in this, like, peace. I hate that I'm bringing this up, but please stop saying this is a ghost. It's not. It's a person. And I just want to leave respect for 
everybody that has been affected by this, including those ones that has been passed away. Two. This video I actually saw when it was on the like live on the uh, news. Opened, you know, it was okay, but when he locked, he wanted his privacy. He had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. Uh, there are two bathrooms in this suite, and this is. Yeah, that's uh, supposedly Michael Jackson's ghost that walked by. Um, it's not. Um, it's a shadow of another person walking by. Uh, even like people on the that was there uh, filming said that it was one of the people walking by a light. So. Not Michael Jackson's ghost? I know the ghost of jealousy! Three! Terry. The boy disappears behind a gravestone. Then oddly, he suddenly seems to jump into a tree. Then fall to the ground and disappear. Uh, 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 hold on. More park ghost. Ha! Ah, this one, uh, people were, uh, visiting a cemetery. I can't remember if, uh, they had a funeral that they're attending or they're just there to, uh, give, like, uh, memoriam to a, uh, past loved one. But, um,. They catch what looks like a ghost child running in the background. Um, I have news for you. It's just a child. It's just a child running in the background. Especially since, uh, I, I'm pretty sure they mentioned that it's a, uh, it was a family gathering. One of the kids were just running around in the background. There's no ghost. Yeah. It's just a child. Oh, uh, and one of the main reasons why I, I keep bringing this up, main reason why I'm doing these debunking videos, there's just so many people, especially with like uh, um, uh, surveillance cameras all over the place, they're willing to just jump at every little thing and be like, oh, that's paranormal. That's paranormal. My job is to separate what is the paranormal from what is not the paranormal. Which is why in the comments, I, I like, i look at what people say and I'm like, oh, hey, that actually has been debunked before. Okay. And I announce it. Four. This next picture is a uh, screenshot of a scene in the movie Three Men and a Baby. Uh... Supposedly, there's like a uh, ghost child there that wasn't supposed to be part of the scene. However, on um, looking through the scene, that's not there. If it's is there, it's there for like a frame or two, but. This is just another case of uh, either misidentification or uh, it's a still from a uh, um, part that was cut out. Because it could possibly be a child just standing there uh, in, on the set. I don't think it's a ghost. Um, I also can't find any other information of this other than this picture. I'm pretty damn sure there's no ghost there. Five. This is allegedly a picture of some form of, like, leg or arm from a uh, mythological creature. It more looks like just like a mummified finger to me. I mean, look, look at the picture. It looks like finger joints. 
but uh, whatever it is, I don't think it's a uh, uh, mythological thing. It's a natural, like, mummified appendage. Pretty sure it's a finger zoomed in. Like, they took a really close uh, picture of it. It looks like a finger to me. Not much more to say on this. Unless you have an opinion, put it in the comment section down below. Start a conversation. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this. I want to see your guys' opinions. Six. So, uh, with this photo here, it looks like a uh, astronaut is standing behind the kid. And, of course, the family that took the photo said that when they took the photo, they don't, that, like, no one was there. But when they reviewed the photo, they noticed that there's an astronaut standing behind the uh, girl. A lot of people say that it's just simple. Someone walked up there and they took the photo and not realizing that there was just someone there. I want to uh, propose a different debunking theory. Those are clouds. Why does it look like a visor then? I'm, I'm actually not too sure on that. But I don't think there's a ghost standing there. It could be a person standing there. Because it looks like... The, it does look like they're holding their arms out. Like... With like a, a hand on the uh, a hip or whatnot. But it looks like clouds to me. It's just a, a simple case of misidentification. I honestly don't think there's a ghost there. Might be a person there, but it, I, I think it's a little silly that like someone walked up, posed, and then walked away without them knowing. It's clouds. I think it's clouds. It looks like clouds. It's pretty much clouds. It's not a ghost. Seven. Okay, this next picture depicts a woman sitting in a car and next to her looks like there's a ghost sitting there. That's light reflecting off of the uh, windshield. Um, and like the hair is the uh, um, like stains that's there because you can see like directly above it is more of the same. And it's just a whole bunch of different, like, aspects of the car that's in that area mixed together. And it looks like a human. Ah, uh, this is one of the reasons why I want to use, like, uh, 3D cameras while investigating. So it's like, you take the picture and objects and, like, stains and whatnot would, like, merge together to look like a person but if you look at it in the 3d you can see the difference like the uh space between the uh um aspects so not a ghost eight this uh next photo wow there's like a lot of uh different like photographs in this uh video this one is taken while they're on a uh, uh, submarine or ship. And uh, the story is that uh, while in war, the uh, either it got hit or it crashed into something, but uh, pretty much it sank. And there was a lot of people that drowned. And this picture is supposed to depict two faces of the uh, people that were on the ship at the time. I personally don't think it is. Um, I had the word memorized. I, <laughs> oh. But there's this phenomenon where your brain tries to uh, m make something legible in something that's chaotic. And the most uh, uh, recognizable thing is the human face. 
So you're going to see faces in a whole bunch of stuff, and that is what's happening with this picture here. You're just seeing the faces in the uh, walls. It's not necessarily ghosts peer peering through what I think is the uh, window. I also need to stop waiting uh, months on end to do these uh, videos so I can remember exactly where I got these sources from. Nine. This is the uh, last uh, uh, photograph for this uh, video, I swear. But uh, I save this and the uh, next video for at the end of the list because, oh my god. God, oh, these two, these next two pieces of evidence is what, oh, I can't stand this. So this is the time traveler uh, photo. You know, the one guy that's sitting in the uh, group of people holding the camera to like take pictures. I, was it the, yeah, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was JFK. One of the biggest arguments I hear about this photograph is that it has to be a time traveler because cameras weren't invented back then. Then how was the photo taken in the first place? <sighs> but then people are like, oh, that's like a modern day camera. Mm, no. Um... <laughs> she got concerned because I was getting heated over this. I love you, Shadow. Um. But people point out, it's like, oh, those sunglasses aren't part of the time. People point out, oh, uh, that jersey he's wearing isn't uh, back then. Those sunglasses aren't uh, weren't invented at the time. That camera wasn't invented back in that time. I uh, I found another like picture. Yeah. Um. I found a picture. I had the website written down I don't know where it went but this person I really want to um, credit this person this is this is not mine that this is not what I pointed out but as you can see though that jersey those glasses and that camera were in fact available back then it's like that uh, one uh, woman walking in the background of one of uh Charlie Chaplin's videos is they're like oh she's uh, using a cell phone it, it, it's a radio that she was holding and uh, I honestly don't think time traveling is a thing with the exception of the uh, um, writer for Simpsons and Futurama because, damn, they're spot on. Ten. The last uh, piece of evidence we have for today. <sighs> Is this a uh, pantry ghost video? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go, go. Uh, I, 
I found this one on Ceremy127. It's a S A R E M Y. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's not the original. But you can uh, find this like all over the place. So the story is there's this uh, ghost in the pantry. The guy keeps uh, getting footage of this person in the pantry. And this particular clip that I uh, chose. He invites a friend over because the friend doesn't believe him. They're filming it, and uh, of course, it happens pretty much right on cue. What I really hate about these kind of videos is that it happens when they record. Like here, it's like, okay, come see this. We'll set up a recording. It happens. And then you see the ghost coming up against the screen. And his friend, instead of opening the door, for some reason he decides to, like, put his hands up again. It's like, ooh, this is mystical. And then the ghost shows its face, startles him, disappears, and then the door glass does a little fade. It, it fades, and you can, it, like, changes color. And then opens on its own. And then you see empty shelves on the inside. That was a very clever cut. Um. It's, it looks like it's always the same ghost, which is a child. Which I'm pretty sure is the guy's child. And he just removes the shelves... Puts the child in there. The child acts. Cuts the camera. Removes the child from the uh, cabinet. Or the pantry or whatever. Puts the shelves back in. Closes the door and resumes uh, recording. And that's why it like changes. Because he now has more white in there. But I find it quite strange. That they do not open the door while the ghost is there, I mean, the guy was up there putting his, like, hands up onto the glass. Why didn't he, why couldn't he just open it up and, uh, see what's in there? No. He has to get completely out of frame, zoom in, and then fade to, uh, the shelves being in there. This is a very, very easy camera trick. So, that was my third volume of debunking paranormal evidence. Uh, keep in mind, this doesn't mean that I don't believe in the paranormal. I believe in it. I've seen it myself. I've witnessed a lot myself. Could I be a schizophrenic? Eh, maybe. But, the point is, is it's like, this is why I'm trying to prove it exists. Uh, but these, uh, all these evidence in this video, I believe, do not prove the existence of the paranormal. They're either misidentifications or straight up fakery. But then again, that's my opinion. Do you have an opinion of any of these, uh, um, evidences that I brought forward to you? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, if you have more information on anything I brought up, go ahead and uh, mention it. I do promise on doing a little bit better on researching and keeping track of the notes. It's just uh, uh, I started uh, um, stockpiling um, videos and uh, photos last year. Things happen, shit hit the fans. On both the ceiling and in the windows. And, uh, all the projects that I wanted to work on, including the Let's Plays, had to really be put on the shelves. And it's taken me a while to pick the pace back up. Uh, I still plan 
on doing a deep dive on a certain uh, um, paranormal show with a certain episode that rocked the nation. That's a huge hint. Uh, but with that, I want to be solid. I want facts. I don't know. I'm also trying to get a hold of someone, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, click on whichever, like, you think is appropriate for this video. Subscribe if you want to see more paranormal videos I'm doing. Or, if Let's Plays is more your uh, game, I got those. I also have personal stories that uh, you can uh, um, listen to. Like... My own personal stories. Like the stuff that I've experienced. And. I think it's time to. Uh, upload another personal story. For this monster bash. In case you're wondering what the monster bash is. Uh, every October. I do. A scary or monster themed. Content. I've been trying to, like, make sure I get one uploaded per day. Uh, that hasn't been working well lately, so I'm just going to do whatever I can. So, until next time, stay spooky.